Hello guys, Jamai Panis coming again with another game that I enjoyed in Mechabellum. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I really enjoyed recording the last replay, rewatch video while playing this game. And I've also really been enjoying playing this game. Like I've not been like psyched out thinking about a game in a long, a game like this in a long time. So first, uh, this multiplayer match, I was busy explaining about the different characters to my buddies on stream and I accidentally picked the Typhoon Specialist or it automatically picked it. I actually wanted to go with the Defensive Specialist. But looking over the map, I ended up with a lot of Fangs and storm callers which are like um artillery pieces and fangs as it says are light all-purpose bots i would have liked if they were a little faster but i don't know man the units in this game are so strange one minute they own everything the other minute they get owned by everything and this game is actually a perfect example of how how do i say strategizing in this game is important so I decided that I'm going to put my storm callers next to my defensive, the structure that I need to defend. And I'm going to protect said storm callers with a bank, a bank of fangs each. And then I just had like a fang in the middle to hold things down. And everyone knows already <laughs> that I love marksmen. They are still my favorite units in the game. So I decided to, you know, have ground defense, swarm. Uh, how would I say ground attack um, all around the swarming attack and long range sniping action and this is the first round and the spoiler alert I think this is my best first round in any multiplayer game multiplayer match that I've played so far in this game his snipers were busy sniping my fangs which is exactly what I wanted his sledgehammers are slow by the time the sledgehammers got there my snipers have already destroyed most of these other units and then the sledgehammers were just like free for all my storm coilers were also in the back raining death from above and just like that round one was done uh I'm, i really like that in this game both players have the same upgrades if i remember correctly he went for rhino what did I go for? Was it crawlers? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, but I like that we both have the same choices, so you don't feel like okay, the RNG benefited someone else. Yeah, I did go for crawlers, um, which would which got which is gonna come in clutch, and he went for rhinos. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really use the crawlers well, but as the game went on and I'm starting to understand the different um, weaknesses of units, I think the final round was when the crawlers really came in clutch for me. But anyway, no spoilers. Um, so I doubled down on marksmen, typical strategy. So I decided to put extra marksmen on the towers just to snipe things from afar before they got in he decided to be aggressive with his new rhino level two and put it right up front to my line i don't know if that was such of a smart move um but i had some resources over so i just kind of plopped down some missiles and a shield and he's also attacking me from behind which i did not anticipate and so my sniper was actually turned off to go and engage his, but his is higher level than mine, so he just one-shot me and obliterated my sniper. Um, I managed to get his rhino down, but he started to destroy my towers, which shocked my units. <laughs> they were fighting still like real troopers. His level three marksman was just like tearing up my back line destroying my artillery and still my snipers were going and look i had an ace in the hole he didn't notice that i had put <laughs> the said crawlers that i got from the round change behind in his back line and so while 
he was tearing stuff apart, my crawlers were crawling up between his cheeks. Pun unintended. And yeah, crawlers just like crawled over his face because these guys do very high damage, but to a single target. Crawlers are a lot of units st stacked on each other, so your high damage is wasted killing those crawly things. And so, ended that round. And four, I think this is the third round. I went with advanced power system, which basically increased movement speed. And he went with stuff to counter my crawlers, which was actually a very good move. But I kind of anticipated that. So yeah, my crawlers are kind of still crawling up the back. And I think he's gonna put his anti uh crawler units here he went with missile interceptor i guess to try to counter my storm callers which wasn't a bad move but as a typhoon specialist i got a typhoon unit free on round three and so he's trying to counter my missiles i got a free typhoon unit that's gonna rip through his smaller units and my crawlers are still crawling up behind him i don't think he countered it this round or did he i don't think so i think he spent his money on unlocking the anti-crawler units but he would have not been able to use them until the next round and so Round three starts. Oh, I got Tarantulas, by the way, which might be my second favorite unit after the Sniper Boys. I was like, ah, oh, you're trying to get me. So I countered his Sniper on my rear, kind of beat my Tarantula up. But again, he did not counter my crawlers and they crawled up behind him destroyed his towers weakened his units my storm crawlers were just launching missiles and he had like one sniper over here but look at that barrage oh i'm sorry i don't like to see marksmen get destroyed like that but you're on the enemy team bruv i'm sorry so now i think is where he's gonna start Trying to counter my crawlers. I think I went with supply enhancement. Yes, and he actually skipped his turn. Skipped choosing anything. So I get extra supplies each turn. I think he's gonna put... Yeah, there they are. I forgot what these units are called. Scorpions. So Scorpions, anti-swarm bot. Bot? Anti-swarm bot. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, he's now count countering my crawlers effectively with two shiny new scorpions. So these crawlers are going to be obliterated. Um, but I double down on my marksman strategy. And got myself another marksman. And he's putting up shields and stuff, I guess, to try to protect his mustangs. But I was like, hmm let's switch it up a bit and put a chunky boy on the field so i did that with a fortress on the right side and this is where like thinking and strategizing is just freaking awesome like even if you lose you feel like it's not because that guy has like op units or has i don't know paid real world money to get better shit. it's all about seeing what the enemy uses or your rival uses and then trying to counter it as best you can so my tarantula got his thingy he's on top of my other tarantula but my ace in the hole is my fortress and my storm callers so he obliterated my crawlers which i expected but scorpions are so slow by the time the scorpions get to the battle all their friends have already been destroyed and it's only a matter of time before they're a lamb to the slaughter so yes you've countered my crawlers but crawlers are really not that worth not worth much 
but your chunky units by the time they get into the battle the battle is over and we can just pick them off and honestly this is where i started to get cocky a bit you know i was like yeah i'm gonna win flawless victory he chose port up a shield i chose port up a shield i think i threw the port up a shield yes on my fortress i was like ah i'm just gonna wrap things up I should have actually moved or refunded my crawlers in the back here, but instead I doubled down like a moron and upgraded them, which was not a good idea because no matter how high these bastards are, these scorpions are, what I say, the, the rivals, they are powerful against swarm units. Um, I think I upgraded my marksmen, yes, and didn't I get another fortress? Or I ran out of resources. Oh, looky here. More marksmen. And I got the quick reload, which basically increases my attack speed, but lowers my damage. Because he wasn't really using a lot of chunky units, but he was using kind of these sledgehammer tanks, which were not quite numerous, but also, you know, there are multiple of them. So I thought that spreading my dps a bit more with my marksman would be a good idea but my cockiness came back to bite me in the butt cheeks because in this round i got obliterated i mean proper obliterated so even though i upgraded my crawlers they were destroyed and then he had shields that were protecting his units from my snipers and shit. And then he got me on the left side and destroyed my tower, which shocked my units, which means they do less damage and take more damage. My guys on the right were fighting valiantly. Took down one of his shields, but I don't know, man. I feel, I feel like I should have moved those crawlers. My chunky boy fortress is doing things what fortresses do and holding out, soaking up a lot of damage while my marksman is sniping the shit out of <laughs> his right side. It's his marksman versus my marksman, but my marksman lost. And yeah, close enough, but I could have done things differently in order to win that round. So we go to the next round. Who wants to guess what I chose? Overlords. I really like these units, but they either work for me or they work against me. He chose Overlords as well, which was interesting. I immediately went for the Mothership upgrade, which produces four wasps to join the battle every 28 seconds, three times. And I kind of wanted to make good use of those uh, wasps so I put my overlords kind of back and supported my tarantula over here so that they could get into the fight much faster the overlord move is much moves a little bit faster than the tarantula so I was like hurry up and destroy this guy and then get into the battle of course I left my crawlers to be slaughtered again and what do you know <laughs> I got more marksmen. I think I have a marksman problem, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how I get that sorted, but more marksmen. Um, so two new overlords and multiple new marksmen. And I put my shield on my fortress, right? Which is a portable shield. And yeah, round six. How do you think I'm gonna fear? All right, so again, my crawlers were obliterated. While they're distracted, my new overlords were also fighting and getting their ass kicked by his overlord. So I lost the overlord, he lost the overlord. Uh, this is where I lost the match. He got my freaking tower, which now shocks my units. His units are destroying mine. Finally, 
the shock of the losing my tower has worn off but i feel like i've already been behind in the battle my overlord on the right is putting in some work but against marksmen uh, overlords i don't know stand no chance overlords are so awesome but i feel like they need more hp but i get it they're a flying unit and if they had tanky hp then it would be op um he went with heavy armor i went with rhino assault the plan was to drop a rhino behind enemy lines wreak havoc and hopefully distract his scorpion so my crawlers could survive um i then was like wait a minute on the left side he's using two level two marksmen to destroy me do you know how to counter marksmen crawlers again they have high dps but they fire slowly and at one target at a time looky here i've got a shit ton of crawlers ready to crawl all over these uh marksmen um he decided to go with mothership just like me on his four overlords versus my two um so i've got him in terms of marksmen but he got me in terms of overlords and anti-swarm units uh i was like you know what let's protect my flank just to be sure that i don't lose this side again and then he comes over and obliterates my right side because i i felt like my right side protected by my fortress was a little bit stronger and just a little icing on the cake i decided you know what Let's spend all my shit and add some missiles. And here we go! My crawlers worked like a charm! Destroying his marksmen. He destroyed my crawlers too, by the way. But that's fine. I felt like I was stronger than I was the last time on my left side. So he wouldn't get my tower and shock my units. On the right side, I was putting in the work, putting in the work. I was like, come on guys, destroy that overlord. Which I did. His sniper is doing snipey things on my overlord, but it's holding up well. And not losing the left side. I feel like that was what made the difference. Had I lost the left side again and lost my tower, I would have definitely been defeated. But again, Mechabellum, ladies and gentlemen, a real strategy game if I ever saw one myself. Um, this has been Jamaipanese, not Jamaipanese, <laughs> Jamai plays, uh, playing Mechabellum. If you like what you see and you want to see more of these videos, please let me know in a comment. If you see I'm making mistakes and you want to give me some helpful hints, please feel free to do the same. Uh, thank you for watching. Check me out on Twitch at Jamai plays as well. Until next time, thank you for watching.